that is, they which are children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. So on one hand, this is talking about the children of promise. Isaac was a seed of promise. At this time I'll come and Sarah shall have a son. That is the promise. So it's in Isaac that is the true Jew according to the flesh, right? So any Jewish person would tell you, look, it's not just because Abraham's your father that makes you a Jew. You have to come through Isaac. Um, and then, of course, the greater point he's making in all this is just like um, it's not Ish in Ishmael, but it's in Isaac. And then he goes down and says it's not um, in Esau, but it's in Jacob. So in other words, just because Abraham's your father doesn't make you a Jewish person. And then the ultimate point he's making is there's another division, and that's in, in Abraham's seed, Jesus. So it's in Jesus that is the true Jew. So if you're born again, you're the true Jewish person. You're the true child of God. Jesus is that promised seed. He's the child of promise. Yes, naturally speaking, it was Isaac. You know, um, that, that's the nation of Israel. But God's point is then through that natural seed is for Jesus to come. He's really the child of promise. And it's those in Christ that are really the true Jew in heart. So it's not because you're a child of Abraham that you're Jewish. Because those in Ishmael are not, only in Isaac. Those Esau, even though he's a child of Abraham, those are not the children of God. Uh, it's in Jacob. And of course, all this working towards... Uh, it's in Jesus that you're the true child of God and not, um, and not being a natural seed to Abraham. So what he's saying is now that you're, you could be in Abraham, you could be in Isaac, you could be in Jacob, that is not what a child of God is. That's not a true Jew. It's, now it's in Christ. The same way it's not Ishmael but Isaac, not Esau but Jacob. It's not a natural seed of Abraham even though you're from Isaac and Jacob, it is only in this seed, Jesus, now. God separates it again. That's the child of promise. That is the true Jew. And that's why he says, verse 6, not as though the word of God has taken none effect. In other words, Paul in his heart for his Jewish brethren according to the flesh, he's not saying that none of them have, be saved, have been saved. No, of course, they're being saved by the gospel. You know, you can go back to the uh, first couple chapters of the book of Acts where he saved 3,000 Jews, then 5,000 Jews. You know, so Jews are coming to the Lord, and that's why he's saying in verse 6, not as though the word has had no effect, is that, that Jews are coming uh, to Christ and being the true Jew. So a natural Jew through Christ becomes the true Jew. And he's already mentioned this before. Turn back to uh, Romans 2. And we won't go all through here. I'll just get to a couple of verses. Verse 28. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, who praise is not of men but of God. In verse 29, where it says, in the spirit, in the spirit is because the true Jew, not Ishmael, but Isaac, not Esau, but Jacob, and then not the natural seed of anybody born physically from Abraham, but in Christ, that um, in the spirit, when you get in Christ, that born again spirit, then you've become the true child of Abraham.